everybody and welcome to another exciting show today and I know a lot of you really really want to know how to activate your third eye to become a little bit more intuitive because everybody has it and we're going to be demonstrating a couple of techniques that you can use at home that will increase your ability to tune in to raise your vibration just a little bit and Rusty, who is very intuitive anyway, you're going to be helping me today and we're going to be demonstrating Great. the tapping points, okay? Okay. So the third eye, right here, you've got your eyebrows right here and right here is your third eye. And actually when we tap, we don't quite tap on the third eye, do we? We mm. tap a bit below it. Right. But the third eye is just above one of the tapping points that we're going to be demonstrating for you today. Now you may, when you were born, when you were born a teeny weeny little person in this lifetime, you were probably quite intuitive. Most young children, babies are, I'd say all. But you, the stress of <laughs> the family you happen to come into, which you chose, you can believe that or not, it doesn't matter, and the survival that you need to get through having chosen those parents will often shut down your own intuition, your psychic ability. And your parents say, stop making things up and get real. And as you grow up, you just begin to lose touch with that ability that you probably have quite actively inside of you. And there's a few things that people think and feel that may hinder the ability of being more psychic, more intu intuitive. Rusty, help me out here. One of them is definitely some people can be afraid of what they're going to see. Yes. Another one can be if you're reading for somebody, using your intuition for somebody else, how do you, what if you see something you don't want to tell them? So it's not just for yourself you may come a, be afraid that you're going to see something you don't want to know, but if you're trying to help somebody else, you think, you know, how do I, if you see death, I never see death. And death, of course, to me is not death anyway, it's just a crossing over. But you know what? I ask to not see negative things. I think that's how you feel too, yes, right? Yes, definitely. Unless it's really useful to someone, why do you want to know? Let's focus on the good stuff that's going to raise your energy, raise your vibration, help that other person you might be helping become happier or get through the challenges more easily. Exactly. So let's just focus on those, that one thing. We'll just tap on that one thing because there's a couple of techniques I want to share with you too. Which do I do first? Let's do a little EFT clearing first before I show you the techniques. Okay. But let's activate our hands before we do the clearing. So take your hands and rub the palms together do this at home, shake it off, rub them together again. Now put them a few inches apart. Can you begin to feel any buzzing? It may take a little while. There may be energy or buzzing or uh, tension. Tune in to your hands, to the palms of your hands until you get that feeling between them. And then you begin to pull your palms apart. This you is not getting activated yet? No, I'm, yeah, it, I am. You are, you can <laughs> feel it. Okay, now pull them a bit further apart. And now let's go further apart. Now at home, take a little longer to do this than we're doing on the video, because I'm rushing things. Now Rusty, gently move one hand. See if you can feel it in the palm of your other, any movement. I feel it a little bit. Just yeah. a little. Mm -hmm. Now I'll keep that hand still and do the other one. Often one hand you can feel more I feel a little strongly. bit. I was going to yeah. say I feel it more strongly yes. in this hand. Right. Yeah. It you know, it just depends on you at home, but you will begin to feel it. Okay. So that's an activation that's beginning to happen and those that's a healing energy. You've raised your vibration at this point and it's beginning to pour out of your hands. If we had uh, I don't know what it's called, the kind of photography that shows the aura, 
then you would begin to see the colors coming out of your hands and, and they would be changing and movement would be coming out. But we don't have that unless you have the ability to see auras and then you can look at your hands and notice. So let's begin the tapping, okay? okay? Let's start on the uh, karate point. And we're going to just use that one, if, even though I'm afraid of what I might see if I'm really intuitive. Let's use that. Okay, even though I'm afraid of what I might see if I really become psychic. Even if I'm afraid of what I might see, even if I become psychic. I'd really like to accept myself anyway. I'd really like to accept myself anyway. Even though I have a fear of seeing something I don't want to see. Even though I have a fear of seeing something I don't want to see. I'd really like to accept myself and my gifts anyway. I would really like to accept myself and my gifts anyway. Top of the head, right at the top of the head. I, I really want to open up psychically. I really want to open up psychically. Eyebrow, I really want to remove any fears I might have about becoming more intuitive. I really want to remove any fears I might have about becoming more intuitive. Side of the eye. I really do want to be more intuitive. I really do want to be more intuitive. Under the eye, I really want to lose any fears I might have about this. I really want to lose any fears I might have about this. Under the nose, I don't want to be afraid of being intuitive. I don't want to be afraid of being intuitive. Chin, because I don't need my guides to give me anything negative anyway. Because I don't need my guides to give me anything negative anyway. Collarbone, and I don't choose my guides to give me anything anything negative. And I don't choose my guides to give me anything negative. Thymus, so I can bring through positive, uplifting information. So I can bring through positive, uplifting information. And be guided to make the right choices. And be guided to make the right choices. Without having fear. Without having fear. Okay, we'll do just a bit more of that, just in case you have a fear. Another fear, this may sound quite bizarre for some of you, but if you were a witch in Salem and you got burned for your psychic abilities in a past life, believe me, that can affect you in this lifetime. But if that doesn't sit right with you, throw it out the window and just go with being afraid that maybe you're going to know too much or say the wrong thing or see things about people or not be able to turn it off. We always turn it off. Yes. Side of the hand. I even though even if I open up intuitively. Even if I open up intuitively. And psychically. And psychically. I can turn it off anytime I want. I can turn it off anytime I want. And I won't know things if I don't choose to. And I won't know things if I don't choose to. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that my that things do float in sometimes. Okay. But it's safe for me to be more intuitive. But it's safe for me to be more intuitive. In fact, it's really useful to be more intuitive. In fact, it's really useful to be more intuitive. Side of the eye. And I, side of the eye, and I'm excited about being more intuitive. And I'm excited about being more intuitive. And it's safe. And it's safe. And I won't abuse it. And I won't abuse it. Oh, that's another one. Some of you may feel you will abuse power if you get powerful, where you can see the future for someone. If that's a worry at all, you're not ready to do this with me today. You need to get your ego out the way. And remember, you're just a clear vessel for spirit to flow through you, for creator's energy to come through you. So you can use this gift to help others and to help yourself. So if there's any fear of abusing power, and you could have abused it in a past life, just tap on the fear of abusing power. Oh, well, let's just do it for them to demonstrate. Even though part of me may be afraid I'll abuse this power. Even though part of me may be afraid I'll abuse this power. I am almost sure I won't. I'm almost sure I won't. Because I choose not to. Because I choose not to. Even if I did in a past life. Even if I did in a past life. I choose not to abuse it this time around. I choose not to abuse it this time around. So it's safe for me to be more intuitive. So it's safe for me to be more intuitive. It's safe for me to be more intuitive. Safe for me to be more intuitive. Okay, now stop for a moment. Shake your hands off. Rub them together again. Get that little tension energy, electricity going till you can feel it. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you're going to draw figure eights over your third eye energetically. Just like that. Okay. Figure eights over your third eye. 
And this is activating the pineal and the pituitary. And then just place your finger on the th fingers on the third eye. And at home, I will have you, which we won't do right now, just close your eyes and it's like focusing at that point. So your eyes are going up towards the point. And as you do with your eyes closed at home, you may begin to see lights, colors, flashing lights, or brilliant colors. The colors from the other realm are incredible. OK, just activate the hands again. And you can keep doing this, because this is going to build up this healing tension that you have that's going through your hands and all through your body. And you're literally raising your vibration as you right. do this. So you'd be sitting quietly at home while you're doing this and taking more time. Although, I mean, you can do it quickly with this now, but practice. OK, so you feel that tension again? Mm -hmm. OK, another figure eight. OK, now just tap the third eye, opening up my intuition. Opening up my intuition. Opening up my third eye. Opening up my third eye. It's safe. It's safe. It's a gift from the universe. It's a gift from the universe. It's creator's gift to me. It's creator's gift to me. And I really, really appreciate it. And I really, really appreciate it. And so it is. And so it is. OK. OK, great, thank you. Great, you're welcome. <laughs> OK, so that was today's show. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Rusty. My pleasure. We all want to keep becoming more intuitive. I mean, it's just something that is so beneficial to so many people. And I love it and it's fun. So practice at home. Practice. It's, you know, it's like when you started to walk, did you fall down a lot of times? Yes. And as you become more intuitive, if it doesn't happen in an instant, don't give up. Practice. So thank you for joining me today on today's show. We're going to have so many more shows, so many different topics. And my name is Aileen Nobles, and goodbye for now.